Coming now to payout policies. One possible policy is a stable dividend policy where dividends are based on long-term forecasts of sales. Under this policy, dividends are increased when earnings have increased to a sustainably higher level. Now let's look at an example of the stable dividend policy. Let's say that our current dividend or the dividend that was received most recently was 0.4. So this is the dividend for the previous year. The expected earnings for the year ahead are 1.5. So we expect earnings to go up and we expect this higher earnings level to be sustainable. Let's say that the target payout ratio is 0.5. The adjustment period is 5 years, which means that the adjustment factor will be 1 over 5 or 0 0.2. Now, in this situation, the expected dividend increase is given by the formula shown here. So, we have the expected earnings times the target payout ratio. So, when we multiply these two, we get the expected dividend for the upcoming year. In our example, that is going to be 1.5, which is the expected earnings, times the payout ratio, which is 0 0.5. So this means that 1.5 into 0.5, which is 0 0.75, is the expected dividend for the upcoming year. From that, we subtract the previous dividend. So this is the dividend for the previous year. In our example, that's 0 0.4. And then this number is multiplied by an adjustment factor, which is 0 0.2. So this is going to give us 0 0.07, which is the expected dividend increase. The new dividend then is the original dividend plus the increase. The original dividend was 0 0.4. And then this is the increase, which is 0 0.07. So the new dividend is expected to be 0 0.47. Then we can have a constant dividend payout ratio. So the payout ratio is kept constant. Here a company decides on a payout ratio. Let's say that payout ratio is 40% and then applies this ratio to current earnings to calculate the dividend amount. So if earnings are high, then the dividend payout will also be high. If earnings are low, then the dividend payout will be low. So with this method, the volatility of dividends will be high. With the residual dividend policy, dividends are equal to the internally generated funds remaining after financing the current period's capital expenditures consistent with the target capital structure. So let's say that the capital budget of a company is 100 million. And let's say that in the capital structure, the equity percent is 80% or 0.8%. And let's say that in a given period, the earnings are 120. So now, given this requirement of 100, and given that the equity percent in the capital structure is 0.8, then the funding that needs to come from equity is 100 into 0.8, which is 80. The earnings generated are 120. So the dividend will be 120 minus 80, which is 40.